Handa manasi mtazamaji hadi tamati rais. William Ruto anasema utakilizaji wa mpango wa nyumba za gharama nafuu utageuza maisha ya wa Kenya wa kipato cha chini kupitia kubuni nafasi za ajira, kutoa makazi bora na kupunguza ugawaji wa ardhi inayotumika kwa kilimo. Akiongea katika ikulu ya rais jijini Nairobi baada ya kuidhinisha mswada wa nyumba za gharama nafuu kuwa sheria, rais Ruto alisifia bunge la taifa na lile la seneti kwa kujiza titi kupitisha mswada huu. Sheria nyumba za gharama nafuu inatoa mwongozo wa kusanyaji wa ushuru wa nyumba na utekelezaji wa mpango wa nyumba hizo za gharama nafuu. Rais Ruto alisema mpango huo utawezesha familia nyingi humu nchini kuishi kwenye makazi stahiki. This is public resources Kenyans are committing their money through the levy for this program for the dignity of other Kenyans so that other Kenyans can have a job so that we can have decent housing so that we can eradicate slums so that we can increase the number of homeowners in Kenya providing shelter to all Kenyans is a constitutional provision providing water to all Kenyans is a constitutional provision one more round of applause please Rais Ruto aliendamana na wafanyikazi wa sekta mbalimbali alikuwa mwingi wa matumaini kwamba sheria hiyo italeta mageuzi katika sekta ya ujenzi. Sheria hiyo itahakikisha kwamba bidhaa zitakazotumika katika ujenzi wa nyumba hizo ni zile zinazotengenezwa humu nchini huku wafanyikazi wakiwa wenyeji wa jamii husika. By the time the, the balance of 48,000 units is put in place Your Excellency, we should be having close to 300,000 young men and women working at our sites. Serikali ina matumaini kwamba utekelezaji wa sheria hiyo iliyoangaziwa na mahakama wakati ilipoamuru kwamba msawado wa hapo awali ulikiuka katiba. Kuna watu walikuwa wameachwa nje. Hawakuwa wanalipa hii eh, eh. Sasa pesa imeongezeka zaidi. So tunashukuru mahakama wametusaidia kutuongezea pesa ya affordable housing. When this program ran into problems from our critics and we had challenges before the courts of law and you did indicate to us that we must have respect for the rule of law, constitutionalism and independent institutions. And that is why your excellency under your guidance You decided we do the right thing by aligning the law and conform to what the courts wanted. Fedha za hazina hiyo zitasimamiwa na bodi ambayo bado haijabuniwa. Asasi nyingine zitakazoshirikishwa katika utekelezaji wa mpango huo ni pamoja na Wizara ya Nyumba, Shirika la Kitaifa la Nyumba, Serikali za County na mashirika ya kibinafsi yatakayoidhinishwa na bodi ya nyumba za gharama nafuu. Baada ya kusaini mswada wa nyumba za bei nafuu kuwa sheria, Rais William Ruto sasa anatarajiwa kunda bodi ambayo itasimamia fedha hizo. Give us in mind na Darubini katika ikulu ya Nairobi.